So pretty obviously I'm playing on a controller here, right? Mm -mm. Today we're going to talk about something that is probably a lot more common than you might think in modern warfare and in Warzone 2.0, and it's not good. And this is coming from a mouse and keyboard player, so I'm your Ordinary Average Gamer. Now let's get to the emulator in the room. For the longest time, anyone playing a competitive FPS, trying to play it on a cross-play against PC players, was at an enormous disadvantage for the last, really the last decade or more, although I guess cross-play hasn't really been around for more than a decade, really, but I digress. Today, we're taking a look at something that is now uh, a certainty that is being used, um, particularly that I found in Warzone and Call of Duty, and it's a little alarming how casually people seem to be treating this. So what you're watching on screen right now is me playing with a mouse and keyboard. However, the game believes that my input is a controller, and what that means is that I'm able to use aim assist while also using a mouse. Now there's a lot to unpack here. Obviously, the first thing is I shouldn't be able to do this. I think that's pretty clear. Uh, one of the biggest things, obviously, with mouse and keyboard is the mouse is incredibly easy to use when compared to an analog stick. This is why we don't get to have aim assist in any game, typically speaking, specifically when you're talking about multiplayer FPS games. But with the recent addition of a buffed version of aim assist, and again, this is particularly we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Warzone 2, but this is not only in this game. This is reaching out into Apex and other gaming titles as well. But we have to ask ourselves, is aim assist really that good? The answer is yes, it is. And I know I can hear some of you already. If it was that good, I'd be, I'd be God at this game. And while that might not be true because no one's God, are they? You really just haven't learned how to use aim assist correctly because if you did, you would be pretty darn close to God. The short version is rotational aim assist and regular aim assist in Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 work more effectively when you're moving both your character and your aim down sights or your crosshairs, which logic would probably tell you that that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If I move more, I should be less accurate. It doesn't work this way. But now the argument about whether or not aim assist is too strong or not is becoming a little harder to ignore because now people on mouse and keyboard are finding ways to use it with something called REWASD. Now I thought long and hard about how much of this I really wanted to show you because one thing I don't want this video to be is a how-to on um, how to basically legally cheat. Um, like I said, I am a mouse and keyboard player, but I think th this is the wrong way to go about it and you're just making a bad system worse um, by abusing it totally, I think. Um, that's my personal opinion. Some people may argue that there's there should be no problem with this. The reason that R-E-S-W-R-E-A-S-W-D is able to get away with this is because it's not actually changing any of the processes of your game. It's essentially just emulating a different input. What it is, is a remapping tool. And it's one of the most used remapping uh, third-party systems available to PC players, and is typically used less nefariously. So how did I come across this? Well, scouring the internet one day, trying to find any tips or tricks on how to break aim assist, so to speak, you know, via normal in-game functions. Um, a lot of videos came up, and uh, a lot of them were about this particular tool. So I took a look at some of them, felt like it was pretty sketchy right off the bat, uh, but I was able to download a free trial. I played this, I played with it for a day. Um, I barely did any kind of setting up with this. Now, keep in mind, like I said, no setting up really. Maybe took about 30 minutes to get it to a part, uh, a place where it felt fairly playable and comfortable. Um, and immediately my KD went up um, and while it doesn't make you a better player, it will never make you a better player. It will make your tactics better. It will make your positioning better. It will make you smarter, but it will absolutely make your aim better and make you a lot less likely to miss shots. That's just how aim assist works in Modern Warfare and in Call of Duty. So it's a given that that part of it is going to function normally. Now, there are some caveats because you don't technically use your mouse exactly like a mouse. What it does is emulate an analog stick that you use with your mouse. So you can't quite run 
and look and shoot with quite the same fluidity that you normally do with a mouse, but you can get very, very close. Now, while this isn't terribly difficult to set up, it's also not super easy to do either. It does require some time and a little bit of thinking on how to set things up. And ultimately, why would anybody spend the time to do this if all they're gonna get is aim assist built in with a less responsive mouse? Well, it's because it is that good to use and things like this are a big reason why there's such an argument around this particular topic as far as the aim assist is concerned. Now, what are the fixes? What are the ways to not only fix this problem that we're talking about with people using a tool like this, but also maybe make everybody kind of happy at the same time? Well, I think there really are only two good viable options, one of which is to either nerf rotational or that magnetism uh, aim assist function for controllers uh, significantly, or give mouse and keyboard players a very, very small amount of aim slow down on target. Um, it's got to be one of the two, or this might be my favorite one, and I'm not sure if we'll ever get this, but input-based matchmaking and true input-based matchmaking. The game uh, will currently attempt to put you with players who are playing a mouse, but ultimately the wide majority of this game is played by controller players, partly because there is aim assist. Um, there are still a lot of people playing on mouse and keyboard, but I guarantee you if mouse and keyboard players had an option to play with that and not feel like they were playing at a intentional disadvantage, they would switch back to their mouse and their keyboard in favor of input-based matchmaking. So here's what I want to know from you guys. Do you think this is cheating a, regardless of whether or not the functionality is recognized as cheating, do you think this is legit to use something like this, especially when you're very clearly having to do so many things to pretend like you're not using a mouse and keyboard? Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you guys for stopping by the channel today. Let me know if you'd like this video. Uh, give it a like maybe if you did enjoy it. Again, drop some comments down there. Let's have a little discussion about this. Cheers. We'll see you on the next one.